Now I want to take you to one of the most beautiful Bosnian towns that you probably never heard of before, and that's Yaitza. Now Yaitza is best known for being one of the only cities in the world to have a waterfall right in city center and to have some amazing water mills that you just have to see to believe. So stay tuned as we show you 10 things to do in Yaitza and why you should definitely add it to your Bosnian itinerary. All in this episode of Lucas World Travel. Well, welcome back to another episode of Lucas World Travel. Now, after six wonderful days exploring Mostar, we took the bus four hours north to Yaitza. So today we're visiting the city of Yaitza, Bosnia, Herzegovina. So I was drawn to this place because it's one of the few towns that has a waterfall right in the city center. And I thought that was too stunning to pass up. And you can decide for yourself if it's worth a visit. So Yaitza is in the mountains, so it has great mountain views. Right in front of us is the Yaitza Fortress. So, although we're still far from the entrance of the fortress, I'm loving the views from the back. Simply stunning. Now, this fortress was built at the end of the 13th century and was the seat of power for the kings of Bosnia. And you can still see their coat of arms at the front gate. information listed so you kind of have to Wikipedia your own information but it's only two marks to enter so for the great views and to experience this fortress it definitely is worth it After leaving the fortress and walking through the enormous city gates, we spotted the ruins of St. Luke's Tower and St. Mary's Church. Although both of these are in ruins since a fire in the 1830s, there's still a lovely sight to see as you walk through the city center of Vyaitsa. Next door to the ruins is the Ethnographic Museum. So this is the traditional dress of Bosnian women back in the day. This is the Orthodox look, this is the Catholic look, and this is the Muslim look. The women would weave their own clothes and rugs on these looms. And for just two marks, it's a great way to learn more about traditional Bosnian culture. Okay, we're going down in the catacombs. We're going underground where the dead people are. So here we go, after Kendra. After Kendra? What does he think this is? <laughs> so this crypt was commissioned around 1400 AD by a Bosnian Duke. He wanted to bury himself and his family here. They also used it for a church for a brief period of time. So you can see a cross and crescent moons into the crypts there. Right by the catacombs is Bear Tower which looks especially picturesque from the main traffic circle. You can even get a great view of the fortress from here as well. But by far, our favorite thing to do in Yaitza was walking down the riverfront, looking at all the tiny cascades to play the waterfall, to enjoy the massive waterfall that exists right in city center. Now it costs four marks a person to get in here. And if you want to get this close to the waterfall, beware, you're going to get wet. Ooh. Although I'm getting very wet right now, I still say this is worth it. If you believe that somebody dies in here, there's a platform. It doesn't look safe at all. But it does look stunning. This waterfall is what drew me to Yaitza, and it didn't disappoint. 
And if you're like me and you enjoy stunning waterfall views, Yaitza will not disappoint you either. Two great stops for the history lover include Mithrium Temple, which is a Roman temple from the second century AD that honors the sun god Mithra. After a quick stop to see the ruins, you can also visit the AVNOJ Museum. Now this museum commemorates the second session of the AVNOJ, which is where they documented that they wanted independence for this region um, of Yugoslavia. So they declared independence from the fascist nations in Italy and Germany wanted to have equality for the ethnicities in this region. If you really enjoy World War II history, this one might be for you. The next day, we took a taxi out to another one of our favorite spots in Yaitza, the water mills. Now, these water mills were built hundreds of years ago, and they were used to grind corn and flour. Now each family in the surrounding neighborhoods would have their own mill and they would transport their raw materials like corn and wheat here uh, by horse to be processed. So you can see the gears of the mill. They're all mossy and not in use anymore. This place is so picturesque and fascinating. It is a must stop when you come to Yatza. Plus, it's free, so you have no excuse why you can't come. about an hour to walk out to these water mills from town. We decided to take the taxi. It's only a 12 minute taxi ride, so much easier. And it was only 10 marks or 11 marks with our tip. So very inexpensive to get out here, even if you go by taxi. Just footsteps away from the water mills is Pliva Lake, where you can sit and enjoy the view of the Bosnian Hills. So now I'm going to show you our Yaitza accommodation. Now this is one of the largest accommodations we've booked so far. So you have this great big living room here. And if you look out, it's kind of rainy right now. But this is the view from our balcony. Nice mountains. And you can't tell, but it's beautiful autumn colors outside. And this is the kitchen dining room area. You can tell it's for a full family. Um, and very modern kitchen. And this place actually has two bedrooms, which we don't need, but we just like the living area so much, we decided to go for it. You can see one is for the kids. And they even have a baby crib in the corner. And the master. Very simple but comfortable. And the bathroom. So we booked this place for 247 marks for three nights via booking.com. But this was the perfect mix of what we wanted. Up next, we're heading to Sarajevo. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the bell to follow the journey. Now that you know about Yaitza, make sure to check out our most star video as well also in Bosnia, Herzegovina, and an amazing place to see. And as always, happy travel planning. Until next time. Bye guys. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for our current location.